Next, we will crochet the small turtle body. We will use green and off-white yarn. For the turtle's belly, the colors are purple, pink, blue, red, yellow green, orange, dark green, navy blue, magenta, and yellow. Crochet two pieces of each color, totaling 20 pieces. Here, I will demonstrate with magenta. Start by crocheting with the green yarn. First, make a magic ring. And for the first round, crochet six single crochet stitches. Start with a chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet stitch. Followed by the second single crochet stitch. Complete the rest on your own. Tighten the magic ring. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch in the first stitch. This completes the first round. Next, we will crochet the second round. The second round consists of six single crochet increase stitches, meaning you will crochet two single crochet stitches into each stitch for a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. I will demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet a single crochet increase stitch. I will demonstrate again. Then you can complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes the second round. Next, we will crochet the third round. The third round consists of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet increase stitch, repeated six times, for a total of 18 stitches at the end of the round. I will demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet one single crochet stitch. followed by one single crochet increase stitch. This completes one set. I will demonstrate one more set. Then you can complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes the third round. Next, we will crochet the fourth round. The fourth round consists of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet increase stitch, and one single crochet stitch, repeated six times, for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. I will demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet stitch. Followed by one single crochet increase stitch. And then one single crochet stitch. This completes one set. I will demonstrate one more set. Then you can complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker, make a slip stitch. And this completes the fourth round. Let's crochet the fifth round. 
The fifth round consists of 24 single crochet stitches, with no increases or decreases, for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. Note that we need to change the yarn color on the last stitch. Let's start. First, make a chain stitch, then crochet the first single crochet stitch. followed by the second single crochet stitch. Complete the rest on your own until the last stitch. For the last single crochet stitch, insert the hook, yarn over, and pull through. You will have two loops on the hook, then take the off-white yarn, place it under the hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. This completes the yarn change. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes the fifth round. Next, we will crochet the sixth round. The sixth round consists of one single crochet stitch, one single crochet decrease stitch, and one single crochet stitch, repeated six times, using back loops only for a total of 18 stitches at the end of the round. Note that we need to change the yarn color on the last stitch. I will demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch. Then you will see that a complete stitch is composed of a V shape. The farthest loop from you is the back loop. Crochet one single crochet stitch. followed by one single crochet decrease stitch. Let me show you how to crochet a single crochet decrease into the back loops. Insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch, then from back to front through the back loop of the second stitch. Now you have three loops on the hook. Wrap the yarn and pull through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn again and pull through the remaining two loops. And our single crochet decrease is complete. And then one single crochet stitch. This completes one set. I will demonstrate one more set. Then you can complete the rest on your own until the last stitch. For the last single crochet stitch, switch to belly center color yarn T the last single crochet stitch. Insert the hook, yarn over, and pull through. You will have two loops on the hook, then take the belly color yarn. Place it under the hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. This completes the yarn change. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes the sixth round. Next, we will crochet the seventh round. The seventh round consists of one single crochet stitch and one single crochet decrease stitch, repeated six times, for a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. I will demonstrate. First, make a chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet stitch. Followed by one single crochet decrease stitch. This completes one set. I will demonstrate one more set. Then you can complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And this completes the seventh round. Once done, crochet a chain stitch, leave in six inch tail. Cut the yarn,
Stuff lightly with fiber fill. Use a tapestry needle to pick up the outer half of the stitches to sew the opening.